Welcome back to Gear and Guitars with Mel. As usual, I am Mel. talk about this beauty right here what this is is the Epiphone Les Paul studio for 2020 in wine red throwback to the 80s uh, when when this style of guitar and color scheme came out <laughs> great guitar man so what you're looking at here is a mahogany body mahogany neck as usual you got an Indian laurel fretboard um, which this I don't know if you can see it but it's got some really nice streaking in it I haven't uh, treated it yet and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute I've only done a couple things to it the things that I always do oh can you see that top see that wood grain oh man look at that but uh yeah so you know your average Les Paul specs, um, except this doesn't have a, a maple top, it's got a maple veneer. I will say, at least it's a thick veneer, but still just a veneer, uh, but it looks great. That's what I was showing you. All right, medium jumbo frets, you got 22 of them, 12 inch radius, you know, you're talking about your, your, your Les Paul specs. Got CTS pots, coil splits, and these are the uh, Epiphone Alnico Plus. Yeah, no, Alnico Pros, they're the Alnico Pros, my fault. Um, so yeah, the uh, Epiphone Alnico Pros in here. Not bad pickups, as you'll see. Uh, we got a Graftech new bone nut, which I'm a big fan of. You know, it doesn't come with any binding on the neck, no binding on the uh, on the body, nothing like that. It does have that that veneer on the back that they're doing on the uh, more affordable side of the Epiphone. You get your Grover tuners, all that good stuff. So we're gonna run it through its paces, and then uh, we'll talk about. My plan. <laughs>
just say that uh, I think that this guitar is really effing great. Um, so if you follow me at all, if you pay any attention, I'm a big fan of the Epiphones. And one of the first things I tend to do when I get a new Epiphone is change the pickups. Now, this guitar is proof that it's got nothing to do with the quality necessarily. It's not Epiphone doesn't have bad quality pickups. It's a specific tone that I like. And what happens is, especially with the Epis, because these tend to have copper, these uh, chrome covers, they tend to be a part copper, it really just deadens. It's, it's a really thin coat of copper that's on the inside of it um, before you get the plating on it. And it, it just, they usually kill all the definition and the good mids. Like, uh, that's a big issue I've had with Epiphone pickups. Um, and I come to find a lot of the times when you take off the covers, you know, they sound a bit better. They're not Duncans. They're not, you know, whatever kind of pickups you want out there. But the thing about that is, is I've had Chinese pickups that were 30 bucks that were amazing. Like out of the Artec factory, they do a really good job. Um, but these, I like these. And I already have another set <laughs> of pickups coming. Um... Because I'm, it's such a habit for me, so I'm actually excited to uh, A, B it. I'm going to take some of these, right before I change the pickups out, I'm going to just do some sound cuts of it, and uh, then I'm going to swap them out, and I'm going to make sure that I don't change any settings on the amp or anything before I do that. So I want to A, B them, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a set of Iron Gear. I've actually never used them. I've used Giovanni, GF, I've used everything out of the Artec factory. Uh, under all different kinds of names. I've used a bunch of eBay small shops. I've used I've used a lot of pickups. I like to I've made my own. I'm a big fan of working at your tone and, and getting what you want. So I was just it was just habit for me. So I ordered a, a set of iron gears. Um, I did a little custom put together as far as the magnets because they let you do that. Um, I was gonna go for the uh, the Stumac um, pickups that they have and I think I might still I think I might grab a set of those maybe for one of my Harley Bentons uh, I think that's a thing I might want to look into doing um, but yeah I got these iron gears coming and put down in the comments if you think you can figure out what set I went for for this guitar now keep in mind this is a solid mahogany body this maple veneer up here isn't giving it any kind of snap it, it's not doing anything tone wood wise and if you want to have a tone wood debate have it down there and I'll jump in because I got a lot of opinions on that. Um, but yeah, so if you know anything about iron gear pickups, you probably know more than me and uh, let me know what pickups you think I'm going to go with and uh, uh, we'll see if you're right. Also, we're uh, above 900 on the subs now. We're I think at 905, so I need 95 more subscribers so we can give away that pedal. Uh, and then after that, we'll see what other stuff we might be doing. Um, so yeah, as usual, uh, I thank you for watching Gear and Guitars with Mel. I am Mel, and just another quick look at this beautiful guitar. I mean, it's a beautiful guitar. And this actually was a birthday present from some really cool cats. I also like to thank uh, Chris at Sweetwater. You're the man, dude. So yeah, here we go. That's it. Oh, uh, you know, and I do want to point out one thing that I found on this. So you look at these acrylic inlays, right? They are great. Like, legitimately, really, really nice. There's no, uh, none of those filler gaps. They're all straight. It's really good. It, it's, Epiphone, they, they make great guitars. They have for a long time, but uh, you can get nitpicky with them. And I'm finding that this 2020 line, that's not the case, man. These things are... These things are beasts. So yeah, again, down in the comments, what kind of iron gear pickups am I putting in here? What kind do you think I should? And if you know some other pickup companies that, uh, that you guys like, you know, I'm, I'm a budget guy. I don't mind spending when it comes to pickups, but uh, I'm going to try and get back to what this channel was, which is, you know, doing things that are affordable. Um, I've lucked out this year only when it comes to, to the instruments. <laughs> The rest of the year has been kind of kicking us in the butt. But, uh, so yeah, I'm just babbling. Thanks for checking out Gear Guitars with Mel. As usual, I am Mel. Take it easy.